What is good, seventh graders? We are continuing to write and solve equations. So on this link, they give us the equation. We have to substitute in the number they give us for the letter and then solve to find the answer, okay? So we have set, uh, t equals 11p. The variable p represents the number of products. The variable t represents the number of time required to complete the transaction. How long does it take to complete a transaction with one product? So what we're going to do in place of P, we're going to put the number for P, which in this case is one, because it's one product. So we're going to substitute one in place of P, and then we're going to simplify. A number right next to each other with parentheses means multiply. 11 times one is just 11. Let's try a couple more. All right, we have our equation again. The variable H represents the number of hours worked. The variable D represents the number of dough prepared. How much dough did Bridget prepare? She worked for 10 hours. We have 10 hours. That's going to go in place of H because they told us that's what H stands for. So we're going to substitute. In place of H, we put the number 10. 2 times 10 is 20. So we plug in our answer of 20. One more. They give us our equation again. It says S represents the number of sugar and P represents the total number of pies. With one additional cup of sugar, how many pies can Russell bake? So in place of S, we will put 1. 1 plus 19 equals 20. So our answer is 20. All right, on this link, it looks kind of complicated, but from what we know about solving equations and canceling things out, doing from one side, do the same thing to the other side, we can actually simplify these pretty quick without doing that much multiplying or math, actually. Okay, so on both sides, we have a 50. So I can divide by 50. It's going to cancel there. What I do to one side, I do to the other side. So I have to cancel the 50 there as well. I also can divide by 73, that's going to cancel, divide by 73, that's going to cancel. The only thing I'm left with then is t equals 100. I didn't have to multiply anything, I just canceled, got my answer. So we want to get v by itself, we're multiplying by 47 on the outside. So the first thing I could do is divide by 47, and those 47's cancel. Opposite of multiplying is dividing, divide by 47. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Now there's two 47's, so actually both of those will cancel with the 47 on the bottom. So now we have 98 minus 81 equals 98 minus V. All right, from this step, we have a 98 on each side. So we do the opposite of what we see. I can subtract 98. Those are going to go away. Do the same thing on the other side, and those go away, leaving me with negative 81 equals negative V. Now, we don't want a negative V. We want a positive V. So that's really saying negative 1 times V so to undo that multiplication, we divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, making V equal a positive 81. Right there. Let's plug that in. And it's correct. Okay, one more. This is a pretty simple one. 1 times R is just R. So R is going to equal 22. All right, let's try this one. We have a 54 on each side. We want to get S by itself. It's being multiplied, so we'll do the opposite of that, which is division. Divide by 54. What you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. 
divide by 54, those cancel, and S equals 91. The last three links on this standard are review from the previous standard. So if you need to see more examples of those, go back to the video from the last standard and make sure you check those out. Otherwise, it should be pretty familiar and I'm hoping that goes fairly quickly for you as it's review from what we did last week. All right, thank you.